awesome places to explore in Connecticut. I've lived in Connecticut for quite a few years now, and I love grabbing my camera and capturing its beauty. This video features my favorite places to explore and take pictures. I'll leave addresses in the description below this video if you want to check them out. Let's get started. Wadsworth Big Falls Wadsworth Falls State Park is a public recreation and preserved natural area located on the Coggenshaw River in the towns of Middletown and Middlefield, Connecticut. Its 285 acres features trails and designated swimming and picnic areas. It has two natural waterfalls, the Big Falls and the Little Falls. Pictured here, the Big Falls are my favorite. I've taken photos and video of these falls at different times of the year and they never fail to amaze me. The sound of the flowing water will bring you peace as your eyes take in the incredible sights. Collins Axe Factory. Collinsville is a village in the town of Canton, Connecticut. When I go there, I love taking photos and video of the old Collins Axe Factory. The Collins & Company factory opened in 1826. It used the power of the Farmington River to make products like axes and machetes. In 1966, the Collins Company closed after 140 years of business. The old buildings are still there and are full of character. While in town, I also like to walk the Farmington River Trail. For much of its length, the trail hugs the banks of the Farmington River. I also love capturing images of this old bridge, once used by the Canal Line Railway. This area also looks great in every season, each season revealing new characteristics. Castle Craig. Castle Craig is part of the 1,800-acre Hubbard Park in Meriden, Connecticut. The tower, built in 1900 by local stonemasons, is constructed of trap rock and is 32 feet high. A metal interior stairway is used to climb up to the observation deck. The views at the top are spectacular because the castle is located on East Peak in the Hanging Hills. You can hike or drive up to the tower. The drive is convenient if you don't have time to do the hike. Meriden industrialist Walter Hubbard donated the tower and surrounding park. In 1987, a 90-foot flagpole was erected thanks to the Meriden Lions Club. You will love this place and the views it has to offer. Hubline Tower Hubline Tower is located in Talcott Mountain State Park in Simsbury, Connecticut. The tower is 160 feet tall and is situated 1,000 feet above the Farmington Valley. It provides panoramic views of the Hartford skyline. It was built for Gilbert Hubline in 1914. He was a food and beverage entrepreneur famous for products like A1 Steak Sauce and Smirnoff Vodka. Many celebrity guests have visited the tower over the years, including General Dwight D. Eisenhower, architect Frank Lloyd Wright, and President Ronald Reagan. Trust me, you don't want to miss Hubline Tower if you are ever in the area. Remember to take your camera. Lover's Leap Lover's Leap State Park is a public recreation area on the Housatonic River in the town of New Milford, Connecticut. It has hiking trails, scenic vistas, and historic ruins. The 160-acre park features an iron bridge built in 1895, which is an awesome subject to photograph. Legend and folklore state that long ago, 
a native chief's daughter fell in love with a white man. She fed and cared for him and kept him from harm. He eventually left her but promised to return. Many seasons passed, so the chief decided to have his daughter marry a member of their tribe. Before the wedding, the princess got on a small boat and rowed to the Great Falls. Just as the princess went over the falls, the returning young man spotted her and leaped down the falls after her. They both perished. A Romeo and Juliet type tale, there is little reason to believe that this story ever really took place. Still, it is intriguing to walk the park imagining their doomed love affair. Old Newgate Prison Old Newgate Prison is a former prison and mine site on Newgate Road in East Granby, Connecticut. The site includes the remains of the state's first official prison, one of the first old Newgate prisoners that documentation still exists for was John Henson. He was sent to the prison for burglary in 1773, but escaped in 1774. The prison was used from 1776 to 1782 to house prisoners of war from the American Revolutionary War. In 1790, it became a state prison most of the above-ground buildings present today were built between then and 1827. It's named after London's Newgate Prison. I walked the grounds on a foggy fall day, which made for some haunting video. Definitely check out Old Newgate Prison. You won't be disappointed. Gillette Castle Gillette Castle State Park straddles the towns of East Haddam and Lyme, Connecticut. The castle sits above the Connecticut River. It was built between 1914 and 1919. The 24 room stone castle looks like a medieval fortress, but it was built as a retirement home for William Gillette. He was a noted actor, director, and playwright he is most famous for his role as Sherlock Holmes. William Gillette died in 1937, but his castle still stands. The estate was purchased by the state of Connecticut in 1943 for $5,000. It's a great place to explore. Chapman Falls. Devil's Hop Yard State Park is a public recreation area located in the town of East Haddam, Connecticut. The 1,000-acre state park includes hiking, fishing, bicycling, picnicking, and camping. My favorite thing to photograph there are the Chapman Falls with a 60-foot total drop. Posted on a billboard at the site is a Puritan belief that Satan once walked along the Eight Mile River and became infuriated as his tail became wet. To express his anger, he scampered up to the falls and stomped his hooves on each section of the falls, leaving scars in the boulders over which the falls descend. This is where Chapman Falls derives its alternative name, Devil's Hop Yard. Legends aside, the Chapman Falls are a beautiful place to spend the day. I highly recommend them. Silver Sands Silver Sands State Park is a public recreation area located on Long Island Sound in the city of Milford, Connecticut. The park features sandy beaches, boardwalks, and seashells. It offers swimming, picnicking, trails, and bird watching. With over a half mile of shoreline, it is a great place to visit and take pictures. During low tide, visitors can also walk to Charles Island. Visiting the beach in the summer makes a lot of sense. 
but I've found it to also be very visually interesting in the fall and winter when there are less people around. You don't want to miss it. Fairfield Hills Hospital. Fairfield State Hospital was a psychiatric hospital in Newtown, Connecticut, which operated from 1931 until 1995. During its operation, treatments included hydrotherapy, insulin shock therapy, electroconvulsive therapy, and frontal lobotomy. Many of the buildings were connected by a series of concrete tunnels used to move staff, patients, and equipment. Although you can't go inside of these buildings today, many of them still stand. They're beautiful and haunting at the same time. It's kind of like walking the set of a Hollywood movie. Get ready to shoot a lot of images. Well, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. In the comment section below, please tell us about your favorite places to capture video or still images.